Hey, I think you're really going to enjoy this session. We're going to talk about uh, our student, Andrew Hoekstra. He's the son of our member, Steve Hoekstra, who's also on the board of directors here. And we've got to coach Andrew for a long time and watch him basically grow up at Virginia Country Club. And man, he is super, super, super special. He's got a, a he's got a touch and a feel for the game that almost you can't coach, but if you get to coach it, you feel like you're really fortunate. And we and I do. He's so greasy and just comfortable with what he does. When the club gets in his hand, it looks like it was born there, and basically it was, but he's got a great, great groove about him. You want to talk about him a bit? Yeah, yeah. Um, he's a great kid, and we're super excited that uh, to have him around at Long Beach State over the next few years as well. Um, especially, he does it throughout his bag, I'd say, but when he gets a wedge in his hands around the greens, it's pretty phenom phenomenal the way, how effortless he is. He's got such a soft, smooth rhythm to it, and he just gets over every pitch, kind of looks the same with his nice little pure rhythm, and he nips it so good. His short game's super, super impressive. Yeah, I mean, one of the most important things for you is the club's got loft on it, it's got bounce on it, and it does the work for you totally. And you really could take one hand and just drop the club down on the ball with one hand and it would pitch the ball the right way. And that's what it looks like, it, like it's in his hand, like he was just born there and he's letting the club fall and there's no hit and there's no force. And he loves to practice that. A lot of times on Saturdays when we're out playing with the kids, we'll uh, stop by the greens and we'll watch him hit a couple pitches to different holes. And it's just amazing whether he's in a long one, a short one, a high one, a low one, how much he allows the golf club to totally do the work, which is really the essence of our sport. Yeah, that's exactly right. He's letting the golf club do the work about as good as we've ever seen. You can you can tell in the video, he, he definitely doesn't add anything to it or try too hard. He just stays nice and relaxed and letting the club swing and the club's doing all the work and he's got all the shots around the green. Yeah, and then you'll get to see in the video this, like he's working at home the same way that everybody is having to work at home right now. But you can see him practicing just being that word that I love, innate. It's just innately allowing the club to do it. And then another thing that I have to tell you about that is his personality and his manner for the game is just so lovely. He's uh, he's basically indifferent about everything that goes on and doesn't have a care. He just loves the game and he wants to play it. And if you watch him pitch the ball or you watch him with a full swing or watch him hit a driver or you watch him hit a putt, it all looks like it's getting shot out of the same gun, which is a really comfortable, relaxed one. Yeah, he's, he's really good, super talented, but he's worked super hard at it. I think an interesting thing that he does is he spends a ton of time chipping and he does a really good job of uh, having fun with it. He's playing different games all the time, hitting different shots. You probably see him over there hitting flop shots. So, you know, he's not just grinding himself down. He's out there having a bunch of fun. And as a result, he's, he's turned into one of the guys with one of the best short games around. Yeah. And then last thing that we wanted to tell you, just to kind of have some fun a little bit, like when we start playing golf again, which we hope is a lot sooner than later, as we've been mentioning in all these sessions, you know, there's going to be that social distancing. And Brett and I both figured out that it's just six feet is two steps. That's all you got to do. One to stay away from your, your person there. That was a violation, by the way. But anyhow, if you can do that, that will be proper when we come back. And I'm sure there'll be some rules as we kind of grow slowly back into what we're doing. And we're going to try to help with that through the PGA of America, through the California Golf Alliance. We're going to start to go into a re-entry into the game that we think that you'll all be happy about. And we don't know when it's going to happen. That will be decided by the government but uh, we'll certainly be one of the people that are the pioneers of what we're doing as far as that goes, so everybody can get playing this great game again. Brett, thanks for doing this. I really like doing this with you. And then last thing, look down here at your beautiful tent hole, how lovely it looks. All it needs right now is some golfers on it, so we hope that's happening soon. Thank you. Thank you.